What I said is not what I uh, meant to, uh, to make people think about me, and it was taken the wrong way. It only took a few words for 8th grader Logan Johnson to realize the power of social media. I replied to her story as do it because her story was, should I drink bleach? So I just said do it. He says over a weekend this month, a dark humor reply to another Monroe Junior High student's Instagram post got him suspended Friday for 10 days. His parents were shocked. I'm thinking something serious, something major. He has pulled a gun. He has, he has done bad things. In the thread, after Johnson posted, do it, the student who made the original post said, you want me to KMS, meaning kill myself, and thanks. He says those letters didn't click at first, so he replied, you're welcome. I would never want someone to kill themselves. Never. Johnson says last week he was pulled out of class by a police officer, escorted to the principal's office, and questioned, his phone taken and searched. Where do they get the power to reach into your life? after school hours, off school property, not even talking about school issues, for something, a question that was asked and answered with two words. The superintendent from Monroe Local Schools tells us if social media becomes a disruption, they can't ignore it, even if it's not on school property. He also tells us their code of conduct outlines cyberbullying. Johnson says he's humiliated. It started off with something that I thought was a joke and I didn't mean to like, hurt anybody. And now like it's coming around and it's really affecting my everything. All right, now Johnson says as part of his suspension, he'll have to be in an isolated classroom for the next six days. He'll also have to eat lunch alone in the lunchroom in front of everybody else. His father says at this point he plans to consult an attorney. We're live in Monroe tonight. Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.